Rains on that report. Let's take a live look now. I-540 bridge in Fort Smith, where over a dozen weeks traffic has been reduced to one lane in each direction. But as 4029's Robert Sarr tells us, the construction on that bridge will be ending, but others may just be getting started. Guys, good evening. Work here on the Interstate 540 bridge over the Arkansas River is nearly complete. And while that might sound like music to most travelers' ears, RDOT tells you that unfortunately the headaches are far from over this summer. With the Arkansas River peering up from below, the newly rehabilitated Interstate 540 bridge is just about ready for normal traffic again. Since mid-April, the bridge has gone from an outdated and weathered structure to one with a smooth and quiet surface, nearly that of asphalt. I stopped by the RDOT District 4 offices and chatted with District Engineer Jason right. Huey, who says not only is the work nearly done, but ahead of schedule too. So on this particular bridge, they had 120 days to complete the work, and we're on day 88 today of 120, so I know that's a, a long period of impact to the, the motoring public, but all in all, that's a very quick turnaround on the project with this magnitude of work. He says removing the concrete barrier should take a day or so with minor paving work and line painting to happen after that. If all goes according to schedule, the restrictions should be gone completely by next Wednesday. But the news isn't all good. Well, once we get all the lanes of I-540 open back up on the river bridge, the contractor will be moving to the Garrison Avenue bridge over Arkansas River and doing the same type of work. Uh, it'll be staged slightly differently because it's a different type of roadway as opposed to an interstate. But the method of construction that we're using is the same as what we've done on the I-540 bridge. Open a handful of years after the I-540 bridge, it also has a surface in desperate need of repair. But unlike the interstate, the Garrison Avenue bridge dumps you right into Fort Smith and that could have a big impact on city events happening in the next few weeks. Josh Bufink runs public relations for Fort Smith and says that project introduces new challenges for motorists. We do have the Peacemaker Festival coming to Fort Smith at the end of July, and we expect a lot of people to be coming into town. So just knowing that, that this construction's happening, we just want people to exercise caution as they go over the bridge. You know. Be sure to look out for those barrels, those cones, those signs that are going to be up that are explaining the, the uh, construction work that's happening um, and be ready for some traffic. RDOT says the contractor will have 220 days about to the end of the year to finish the work. And guys, RDOT really does want to remind everybody that this is just part one of a three-part bridge rehab project. Once the major work is done here, they'll start on the Garrison Avenue Bridge, and once that work wraps up, then they'll start on the Midland Bridge, which carries Highway 64 over the Arkansas River. But that project should have the least amount of impact to the traveling public. On the I-540 Bridge in Fort Smith, Robert Sir, 4029 News.